In 1405, Ming Dynasty Emperor Yongle commended his favorite eunuch, Zhen He. He? I have prepared for you gigantic carriers and gifts. Go overseas to make new friends. And also, find my missing nephew. <laughs> So Zhen He began exchanges between China and other countries, displaying power and friendship, but not invading nor colonizing any other states. Instead, Zhen He became the navigation king who guarded world peace. Here's the story. The gigantic carriers called treasure ships were 138 meters long, 56 meters wide, with 1,100 tons of displacement. There were 64 treasure ships among the entire fleet of 260 ships manned by 28,000 seamen, nearly twice the size of Taipei Arena. That's why the Chinese are the number one shipbuilders in the world. With a compass, navigation maps, and cannons on board, rampant aggressive pirates were easily defeated. All of the countries respected the Ming Emperor and peacefully welcomed the fleet. It's worth mentioning that Zhen He, of Arabic descent, was a Muslim. Yet he carried our sea goddess Matsu abroad. This proves he was open-minded to other religions. In 1408, Zhen He traveled to Ceylon. Without preaching nor colonization, he donated 37.5 kilograms of gold, 187.5 kilograms of silver, and many other precious gifts to Buddhist temples. With such a respectful and broad-minded attitude, no wonder Zhen He was welcomed everywhere he visited. One good turn deserves another. The ambassadors of different countries love to visit China. They even brought giraffes, sacred unicorns, all the way from Africa. Crazy! Giraffes were much rarer than a Japanese-made compressor. This pleased the emperor, so to express his gratitude, the ambassador received even more valuable treasures in return. What a good deal! How great to have such a generous uncle! Contrary to popular opinion that European exploration in the 15th century dominated world discovery, the Chinese had already explored the world almost a hundred years earlier than the West. Calicut, a kingdom in southwest India, had contact with both Zhen He and the Portuguese. Zhen He brought the Calicut king his favorites. The two countries set up a tablet to symbolize their friendship. However, when the Portuguese visited Calicut in 1498, they only brought cheap things like sweets and honey to trick the locals. It's not easy maintaining friendships with other countries. The total distance Zhen He traveled during his seven missions was more than 70,000 nautical miles, equivalent to three and a half times around the entire globe. These expeditions made Zhen He the one and only navigation king in Chinese history. His missions called Zhen He's Great Voyages. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a rumor that Zhen He traveled to the American continent as well. For more exciting adventure stories, check out the information below.